What a beautiful day it's uh, going to turn out to be if you're uh, on the long side of the fence, if you're on the short side, of course, uh, it's a dangerous day. You're watching Dealing Room. And um, two things that we have to watch out for. Uh, you know, if you see the positions on 8,500 of, uh, uh, of the calls, uh, the call, uh, so of course, you know, uh, like there is a Hindi saying, well, uh, you know, the goldsmith can get it right 99 times, but the <laughs> ironsmith gets it right at least one time. Today, the call buyers will get it right. And the call uh, writers are in big trouble because uh, if, if, you know, they, if they get taken out, they just basically have to cover their position and uh, just the way it is. So that's the scenario that's building up on the futures and options side. Uh, and there may be a gap up. So, you know, how, how strong the gap up is, we'll see. But 60, 70 points uh, shouldn't be uh, too much of a surprise uh, if you have to get that. Is Mandar with us? Mandar, good morning. Uh, let, let's start out with... Uh, uh, you know, uh, Friday evening, uh, gloom and doom, and of course, I guess uh, none of the traders got to uh, speak to the FBI director, who over the weekend changed his mind. So by Monday, of course, uh, he's giving heart palpitations to everybody who shot. <laughs> so, Bandar, what happens today? Yeah, very good morning, Ashu. Uh, that's the fun in the markets. Uh, it's basically, uh, I think the markets right now are drifting downwards, and that's mainly because of the uncertainty of the uh, U.S. presidential elections. Plus, uh, uh, we have the quarterly earnings season, which is going on. Uh, so uh, this uh, uh, and uh, today we have the uh, Asian markets, which are trading positively. The HDX Nifty is giving us positive signs. So yes, quite possibly the markets could open uh, uh, gap up uh, today. But what is important is whether these uh, whether the markets are able to sustain the gains uh, that we could trade today. Uh, I think uh, levels that I'm watching right now are uh, uh, on the higher side. Eight seven three zero is a major resistance for the Nifty. Uh, till the time uh, this resistance is not crossed, I think uh, the time correction that we are going through or the consolidation that we are going through could continue. Uh, once 8730 is crossed, then yes, uh, then at that moment we could have fresh interest or fresh trend coming back to the markets. But till that happens, I think the drifting that's happening right now, that could continue. This is a script specific market. So uh, individual stocks would be more in the limelight than the index. The index could continue to drift on down, uh, uh, sideways or with a weak bias. Uh, on the downside, I think 8,400 and 8,300 is a major uh, re, uh, support for the uh, Nifty and uh, the index should be able to find support somewhere there. Uh, so right now we are range bound between 8,400 and 8,730 as an overall range. Uh, as this range is broken, uh, we would be able to take a further view. But uh, we should see individual stocks outperforming the markets for sure. Uh, Madar, so if I could just uh, uh, get back to this, and my uh, thought to you is that uh, we can't forget that we we are in a secular bull rally, uh, and in a secular bull rally, trying to go short always carries massive risks. So unless you're an excellent day trader and you can get in and get out, many of us can't do that psychologically, and also we work. So when by the time we look at our portfolio or our trade, by evening something has gone wrong. If somebody doesn't have a day trading focus, is it smart to actually sell on rallies or basically you you either keep out of a position or get into a position? Uh, rightly said, Ashu. I think, uh, see, if you're making money, you should take it. There's no uh, second thought on that. Uh, but uh, uh, catching extreme short-term trends is uh, difficult and it's not every everybody's job. So therefore, one needs to understand what is uh, what suits his profile. Uh, if you look at the current moves, then uh, uh, other than uh, a few uh, days throughout the month, most of the days have been uh, very na narrow range bound trades. So therefore, finding a, a trade overall for the Nifty has been difficult for the last uh, at least uh, two months. Uh, but yes, script specific moves have surely been there. Uh, as we uh, trading Nifty right now uh, on the support or on the resistance is uh, would be something which is advisable. So if uh, uh, you're able to uh, uh, catch Nifty at somewhere between 8670 and maybe 8700 or 8730 between that band, then yes, one can surely go short. Why? Because then in that case, your stop loss would be just above uh, 8730. So the trade would fit in your risk reward ratio. 
so the markets this month i believe uh, until unless these levels are levels are broken they would continue to trade in this level so yes either you trade at the resistance or you trade on the support that would be an ideal strategy uh, so, so that you can maintain the risk reward ratio in your favor right i wanted to take a couple of stocks if i may mandar uh, colgate palmolive uh, uh, also mahindra and mahindra itc uh, these three first and then what's your feel uh, on the strategy on on indian hotel starter motors uh, uh tata steel because i you know i can't just focus on technicals here mandar we don't know what the bigger institutions want to do with these stocks so sometimes we have to suspend the technicals uh, when we're looking at charts like this uh ashu uh, if i look at uh, stocks like say uh, tata steel then uh, tata steel is not showing me weakness uh, uh, it has a support between 390 and 380 levels uh, so till the time uh, it continues to hold on to this support i think uh, there will be uh, uh, the stock would continue to uh, show a strength Uh, but yes it has a resistance at around 430 that resistance needs to be broken if 430 is broken the stock could rally to 490 uh, but i think with the developments currently going on the stock would more or less be range bound between 380 and 4 uh, 4 uh, 34 now uh, if i look at uh, tata motors tata motors was uh, showing a good uh, uh, uptrend uh, for the last 7 uh, 8 months and right now it's going through this uh, Uh, consolidation or correction i think this correction would could continue uh, levels which we, one needs to watch are uh, 484 uh, as a support and uh, on the higher side 535 540 as a resistance so uh, the stock also should, could go through this uh, continue this consolidation indian hotels is one stock which is looking weak uh, uh, the stock was trading uh, range bound between 125 and uh, 140 uh, for uh, between june and october and right now it's broken that uh, sideways trend it's showing me uh, weakness the stock could uh, move down to 105 to uh, even uh, 95 100 levels uh, so this is one weak stock among the uh, tata uh, stocks as of the other stocks that you discussed uh, itc is one stock in the fmcg pack which is uh, holding on so if i compare uh, itc and uh, hindustan lever then itc is showing me strength uh, but yes uh, the stock on the long term charts is consolidating it still has to uh, breach this uh, resistance at around 265 to uh, 270 to show us uh, strength further on so right now it's going through this consolidation support comes in at around 230 uh, mahindra and mahindra is uh, uh, on the long term chart looks good Uh, it gave us a breakout in the months of june but after that it's correcting it it's come down and it's tested that support at around 1300 from here on i think uh, uh, the stock should pick up interest uh, so if somebody is looking uh, at auto stocks from a long term point of view this stock looks to be good uh, yeah, one can start accumulating stop loss should be at around 1240 in this case uh, colgate is a stock which uh, has got a big supply zone between 1000 and 1060 1090 levels so uh, this stock also is going uh, though on the long term chart it's showing me consolidation uh, this stock also has to breach this uh, resistance uh, for uh, to, to bring in fresh interest so 1050 1060 is a, a major uh, supply zone for the stock the stock needs to cross this to bring in uh, fresh interest uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, mid cap first and i'll come back to the main stocks mandar Uh, uh for day traders of course uh, the immediate trend has kind of broken uh, in mid cap in mid cap especially small cap stocks uh, but when i look at the uh, uh, the chart for a year mandar uh, you know if anything yes maybe there is a dip uh, but on a annual basis it seems like a buy on dip kind of a chart rather than a sell chart so if you could just walk us through those two phenomena those who are holding a day trading position probably cannot hold more than that and for those who can basically do a buy on dips what part of the mid cap or which mid caps can you be in um i should basically uh, the first thing is one needs to have clarity on uh, uh, what is profile is so whether you are an uh, intraday trader a position trader or an investor 
uh, basically the current market that we are witnessing is uh, uh, see we have, uh, the markets have rallied so if you look at the uh, nifty the nifty from 6800 has moved up to uh, 8900 and after that we are witnessing the current consolidation now w- what happens is when the uh, prices move they are basically anticipating the uh, business uh, improvement that's happening in terms of companies now many a times when these rallies happen uh the prices tend to run ahead, ahead of the fundamentals and the corrections are nothing but a catch up between the uh, price and the fundamental so technicals and fundamentals have to catch up and that's nothing but a correction so basically uh, you need to know what your time frame is so the current market that we are witnessing is nothing but a catch up of fundamentals and technicals that's happening so in this correction uh, there are plenty of stocks uh, uh, which will come uh, we, which we we could come across Uh, some of the stocks which i am looking at currently are say for example if uh, a person has got a short term view uh, then uh, swan energy is one stock which uh, uh, he can be interested in uh, but uh, uh, one thing is important when you uh, trade for a short term uh, investment your stop losses have to be very strict uh, swan energy looks good buy with a stop loss at 100 for a ta- short term uh, uh, target say 2 to 3 month target of 150 Uh, and the second stock which looks good to me again for short term investment is uh, uh, advanta buy with a stop loss at 550 for a target of 780 okay uh, mandar uh, i'm sorry i don't know if i uh, took uh, some of your uh, uh, picks for today uh, my only request is uh, we'll have a pre open in about 45 seconds so whatever you can pack now and then i'll come back to you um i should basically uh, the two stocks which i have discussed swan energy and advanta those two stocks other than these two uh, two stocks uh, stocks uh, which uh, look interesting to me sun pharma basically looks weak so uh, if one has a short view uh, then uh, the stock uh, has broken a support at uh, 710 so till the time the stock trades below uh, 710 the stock would continue to remain weak uh, uh, from an investment point of view kotak bank and mrf are two stocks which one can look at uh, accumulating in small quantities uh indusind bank is showing uh, strong undercurrent so possibly the stock should show us interest igl is another st- uh, stock which has been showing uh, a strong undercurrent something happening in the stock among banks uh, there are one is uh, uh, alabad bank which is trading on support support at 71 so with a stop loss at 68 one can think of position trade in alabad bank and hdfc bank is uh, one uh, bank in private sector banks which is looking good trading on supports between 1230 and 1210 So the stop loss at 1191 can look at a positional trade in uh, HDFC Bank as well. Uh, Amandar, uh, just your views. Uh, uh, first of all, at least on an immediate term basis. Uh, look, uh, we all know uh, pharmaceutical charts can't change overnight. But because a short position may be built up, it does trap people on a day trade basis. Is it possible that today pharma may just trap a lot of short sellers if they get a chance to just close the position and come back later when the downtrend continues? and two we are also seeing other favorite if i may call it short kind of stocks like rcis ya bank and all showing the most appreciation so could be be a day where those stocks that are usually shorted will perhaps give the best gains today uh yeah rightly said ashu see basically if shorts are uh, uh, stuck then yes possibly short covering can and uh, whenever we have short covering in the markets uh, price can be anything uh, uh, based on the positions that people have uh and rightly said uh, ph- pharma is one sector which was looking extremely weak uh, throughout last week uh, pharma and uh, banking psu banks they were looking extremely weak and possibly today if uh, as and when uh, the uh, le- important levels are breached by these stocks on the higher side possibly we could see short covering so i'm looking at a chart uh, like ajanta pharma uh, which uh, i'm sure that most of the people must be looking at a head and shoulder kind of a formation and possibly if this neckline uh, 1900 level if the stock starts trading above 900 possi- possibly the stock can also move up to 1950 1970 in the uh, intraday trade today itself uh, most of the psu banks were trading near support so they could find uh, uh, interest so this canara bank this bank of baroda this alabad bank uh, uh, which were looking good the, the weak stock among them uh, uh, in the private sector was axis bank other than that most of the stocks were uh trading on support so these uh, banking and uh, pharma could see uh, interest in the intraday trade today 
Mandar, uh, just uh, going back uh, to what we are seeing, I am seeing some uh, pretty sharp volatility uh, on uh, the Nifty. And I put this question to Vishwesh uh, that, you know, while it looked like we can be on a run, uh, you know, if I was an institutional investor, I may actually like to go light into the elections. Uh, then, you know, of course, uh, you know, usually when we are retail, we get up in the morning and say, oh, Lupin plant has been approved. Oh, great. So it should be up to 10%. But, I mean, what does the Lupin plant approval mean with anything? That we'll think later. But the institutions do it differently. I'm just wondering, could we be in a situation where we actually don't end up today? I mean, I'm, I'm just wondering, given the scenario we are in. Uh, yes, as you rightly said. See, basically, uh, markets are uh, worried about uncertainty. And uh, uh, it's uh, not only the markets, it's you and me who are also worried about uncertainty. And uh, with uh, uh, the elections uh, uh, happening, uh, uh, tomorrow itself, I think uh, uh, people would not be ready to take uh, a bet right now. So the markets will continue to trade uh, uh, cautious for another three days. Maybe Wednesday or Thursday is, would be a time when uh, the markets could uh, decide a direction. And uh, it's very important for the Nifty to uh, sustain above 8550. Uh, the moment it does that, then yes, that could be the first sign that yes, people are now ready to take a view as to where the markets are going to move uh, going forward. But till that time, uh, uh, people would not be ready to place bets, uh, whatever long shots, yes, possibly they could carry their positions forward. But uh, the overall mood would remain to be cautious. Uh, Mandar, uh, just your thoughts, uh, you know, for, for somebody with uh, trading experience, I mean, there's, uh, there's no question of entering pharma because it, it has to show uh, uh, not just a retrace, but a clear trend before you, because these, these stocks are completely gone, gone out of the radar. Uh, yeah, rightly said, Ashu. Uh, see, basically, the thing is, uh, what has happened is, is for the last few years, these stocks have performed. So you had stocks which were trading at 100 rupees in 2012, which went up to two and a half thousand rupees. So they've given phenomenal returns. Uh, but what happens is you need to know when to exit. And right now, these stocks are going through a correction. So basically, there's a uh, uh, there's a catch up between the technicals and fundamentals, which is happening. So therefore, all the upsides in these stocks are limited for now. So if you look at a stock like Lupin, today the stock opened up uh, uh, with a gap up opening. And after that, it's drifting downwards. Uh, so if, I, uh, if I'm looking at a one minute chart of uh, uh, Lupin and it's drifting downwards. Uh, so till the time... Uh, uh, the stock uh, trades uh, below 15.25. I think uh, the stock would continue to remain weak. Maybe it could come down to uh, 14.80 levels in the intraday trade as well. So there's no reason for us to go long as of now. If at all, if I have to go long in Lupin, then maybe uh, once the stock sustains above 15.50, then maybe I can uh, change my view. But till that till that time, it does not trade above 15.50. The weakness is continuously going to be there. In, uh, and the same is applies with most of the stocks. So till the time they don't breach their resistances, the stocks will continue their correction or consolidation that they're witnessing right now.